Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, how you doing? This is Pete. Uh, now we got all our bodywork repaired right in this area, so that section's done. Uh, we're working on our Cooper, and uh, this is what you call a mild collision repair. So none of the frame structure was damaged here, but I noticed that the battery box inside over here was uh, dented. So I went ahead and informed the insurance uh, agent of that, and they went ahead and added that to the insurance uh, claim. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get Rich over here, okay, he's my uh, uh, employee, right now anyway, and uh, we're going to tell Rich to get some gloves on, okay, and uh, maybe some safety glasses, Rich, do you have those, sir? Safety first all the time, bud, okay. If you can go around inside there, Rich, in the other room, right next to the paint gun cleaner, which you already know where that's at, down on the floor, get the longest block that you Look can find. this area right here, you can see that the battery box has been dented right here. That means that the force of the impact had hit the bottom of the battery box. On this particular car, the battery is in the back of the car. Uh, that's just where they located. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to repair this at home, okay, using a block of wood. If Rich can get his gloves on for the second time, please. Okay, Rich? Yes, sir. Thank you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my block of wood and I'm going to set it right on that edge and Rich is going to hold this here. We don't want to hit that with our sledgehammer. Oh, no, I'm sorry, did I say sledgehammer? Where's your gloves, sir? You don't have them. Okay, get Swampy's gloves in. Here you go. Here's a pair of Swampy's gloves, okay? Now, the reason I'm using a block is uh, I'm actually going to use this sledgehammer. Now, I'm showing you how to do this at home instead of using a frame machine. Now, Rich has got his hands there holding the block. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that block Okay, there you go. Let's see if you can move it back a little. There you go. Right there, thank you. Okay. Now, if you take a look at that box, you can see that it's flat. Okay, it's not buckled up anymore. One more time, Rich. Let's get uh, that corner right there. There you go. Make sure you brace that block right there. I can't hit it when there's a cable in the way. There you go. Right here, sir. Right, th right there. Okay. Okay, now bring it over here. A little bit more right there in that area. Okay. So what we have done is we actually have straightened out uh, our battery box. We've actually moved it back. It was all angled up in there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hammer, okay, if you look right here, you can see that that wall's curved, and we got a buckle right in this area here. Okay, so what we got here, we're actually just using two hammers and our block. A block of wood is very important in a shop, Rich. A block of wood is a very important tool at a house. This lesson is about using a block. Did you catch that idea? Yes, about using a block. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hammer now and... I'm going to very carefully hit this corner of this edge. And at the same time, I'm going to... Do you see what I'm saying here, Rich? Yes, sir. And just because you have a hammer with two... The side of the hammer becomes a tool, too. The whole hammer is actually a tool designed for you to use. There we go. Okay, so what we did, okay, we went ahead and straightened that out. And we can get more technical with it and get it more straighter, but you know, this car's actually been in a... Okay. See, I'm, I'm, I'm still working on it. There we go. It's a done deal. Okay, what do we got here? Is this... Trash. Hold on a minute. Do we got marijuana in here, sir? Oh, no. We got marijuana smoker today. <laughs> what the?
Let's see if we can get some of that up in here. Okay, I'm sorry. I was misconfused. It's not marijuana. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Okay, basically what we have done here, okay, let me show you. Okay, because this is DIY Auto School and class is not over until you learn everything. What you just learned today is how to use an old block of wood. Okay, we have taken the block of wood. Okay. We have taken the block of wood and we have used a sledgehammer and a mini sledge. That's all we did. It's a done deal, it's fixed. Did you see how easy that was? A lot of people look at that and say, wow, what am I going to do? But my friend Pete just showed you how to fix it. Did you learn anything yourself, Rich? Yeah. What did you learn? How to use a block of wood and two different size sledgehammers. Okay. I just said that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Rich. You're welcome. Let me get my gloves off. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Rich? Come on. Let's see if I can learn something from you today. Okay. You know what that is? Getting the job done so we can get paid, sir. Okay. This is Pete. Take it easy. Tools are in front of your face and you don't even know it. Okay. The tool is what's going to make you the professional. There's tools everywhere in your life. There's tools that uh, fix cars, for instance. There's also tools that get you back on your feet, get you back in line and get you back out in society, sir. The tool is what's going to make you the person that it takes to be a person that it takes to live in the world that we do today. Find that tool and don't lose that tool. It's very important to keep that tool embedded with you all the time. My friend Pete's got to go. I got a lot of tooling to do over here, over at DIY Auto School your favorite place to learn everything you need to know about everything. Just like uh, camera guy Ken says, class is not out until you learn everything. Catch us on our next episode. We love you. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.